today and uh, I thought I was through with all the welding but I forgot the little braces on those T-shaped parts there I intended to put braces on that and I didn't yet so a little more welding to go I'll uh, cut them out and weld them up and then I'll show you guys what I've done well it looks like it works I managed to push the battery pieces back together and and uh, and tape them together so there we go I think that's gonna work back to the uh, project now you might think you're looking at black painted metal but the fact is the Walmart that I was in didn't have even one can of gloss black that's a uh, dark walnut yep that's as close as I could get all right the painting is getting underway and soon we'll call it done but it'll be way later on today but all that's fresh and it's got to dry two or three hours at least before I can put another coat on the wheels are on the top parts are painted and and drying although they may need another coat I'm not sure I'll come back out here before midnight and check them out even though it's a lazy time of night <laughs> all right should be dry enough to assemble tomorrow well it's time to try to assemble this stuff I can tell you yellow paint is the hardest paint in the world to paint with because you you have such a hard time getting coverage but you know that's the breaks of the game so you guys watch while I struggle We'll get a pin in there and then it'll be stable. I'll put a nut on both of those pins and then I'll put the hoist up there and we'll get a look at what it looks like when it's assembled. Alright, time to put the hoist on it. Fun day, fun day. Oh boy. It doesn't fit. That cross piece is two inch. This isn't two inch. Just a little problem. So, I'll let you sleep while I work that out. I should have checked that ahead of time. Well, I gotta go to Redneck Supply 
and get some 7 16 14 thread bolts which I don't own even a one of. Well, we'll plug it into some electricity and try to find something to lift with it and see how it works. Hang on. Well, I've never had a job as a rigger and I, I doubt seriously if I'll never qualify for one. But we'll try to lift this. And uh, I may or may not tilt it around wrong or something, but it's pretty heavy. Well, I'm running out of rope. <laughs> we have to wrap it around a couple more times. Hang loose. I think that it's going to work now. I took a lot of slack out of the strap. So with any luck, it'll pick this thing up. Probably offside and off center, but we'll pick it up. Well, there you are, lopsided and off center. I'm sure it's got all the go to pick it up, it's just, I don't have it wrapped right, so I'm going to give up on picking it up because it's just a waste of time. The mistakes I made in this was I measured what I thought was the center and I was uh, three inches off so the little braces don't meet each other when they come up. I wasn't about to cut it loose and move it over. so. We're going to live with that. And then when we come to the top of these uprights, move this around. When we come around here, there's a hole in this guy right about here, three inches down. Unfortunately, the hole is facing that way instead of this way. So at some point, I'll have to sort of lift this thing up, drill that hole and then let it back down. The other holes all fit just fine. So I would say that uh, it's going to work just fine. I don't really have to have that hole in there unless I lift the thing up real high. And in fact, I could just lift it up above the top of the bar, up above the top of the bar here and put a pin in it. And that would get me the height anyway without drilling another hole. So. One thing for sure, it's not going to fall off of there because gravity is pulling it down. Uh, but anyway, now I've got a hoist and I don't have that thing in the floor getting in my way. I would had that darn hoist laying in the floor for a long time now. So it's out of the way. I'll move it to over against the lathe and store it there. And then when I want to pick up something, I'll pick it up. What do you say we go see what Bub is doing? It clears the lights. It clears everything but that little wire reel and all I have to do is just move it out of the way. And it just slides right back in there by the lathe. Out of the way. But plenty of lifting if I want it. For sure. But it seems like uh, Ole went into his local bar there and Told the bartender to give him three shots of whiskey. So he uh, he drank one after the other three shots of whiskey. Come in the next day and ordered three shots of whiskey. And did this for a week, you know, and the bartender started getting kind of curious, you know. And he says, uh, yeah, look here, Ole, uh, why are you doing that? I said, oh, he says, I have these friends, you know, these two friends. He says, uh, we always used to drink together, and he says, but they can't be here, you know. They're living, you know, too far away in other states. And so he says, I'm having a drink for them. So, you know, be like old times. Person says, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so 
Oli went on doing this for a whole month, you know, and then one day Oli comes in and he orders two shots of whiskey. And he drank two shots. Next day, he orders two shots. Next day, another time, and he orders two shots. And the bartender got kind of concerned. He said, uh, Oli, he says, uh, what's going on here? He said, one of your buddies die? Oli said, oh, no, no. He says, I just give up drinking for Lent. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.